when it comes to a mechatronics engineering degree, there's not many options, right? There's literally maybe six colleges that offer a mechatronics engineering degree in the whole entire United States. Okay, I think a few years ago there's literally only three accredited schools of a certain kind. I, I don't want to get get this wrong, but there's, if you're looking for a certain accreditation of the school, that's whenever you can't get that particular engineering degree. Now, when it comes to mechatronics on an associate's degree level, I think that this one has became very, very popular, right? There's definitely industrial technologies, advanced automation, robotics, mechatronics, they, they, and they kind of all fall under the same category of the same classes. The big difference is you're going to have some differences in your classes. For example, maybe. Industrial technologies will have like a PLC one class, intro to robotics, and it'll kind of end there. Then a lot of your other classes might be some other manufacturing related classes like preventative maintenance. Then whenever it comes to like your, your mechatronics or your advanced automation robotics type of classes, you're gonna have like a PLC one, PLC two, PLC three class, or in an intro to robotics, robotics one, robotics two, you get more advanced in those advanced like PLC programming, robot programming classes. You may have like Mechatronics 1 and Mechatronics 2. And, and a lot of these things, like I said, will be replaced with some other class that in my mind, no matter what, they're still just not as valuable like preventative maintenance or I'm trying to think of some of like the ones that I went through. They were just more like quality control was one of them, like dealing with quality control stuff. I don't know, like I think like stuff like that is important.